Dear Americans, it is the second year in a row that we have to join the celebration of the 4th of July virtually. Unfortunately, the ongoing global COVID-19 pandemic has deprived us of the opportunity to share a firm handshake with our American friends and colleagues at the Embassy on this festive occasion. Nonetheless, as the people of the United States mark the 245th anniversary of their collective decision to live in a free and prosperous country, our wishes and congratulations are as warm as ever. The years of independence were marked with both remarkable achievements and extraordinary challenges for the United States, which has strengthened the resolve of its people to further pursue the ideas of liberty, democracy and rule of law. At the same time, the role of the United States plays in contemporary global affairs is a testimony to the preservance and ingenuity of its people. Almost 30 years since the establishment of diplomatic relations, the US and Armenia have a fruitful collaboration based not only on mutual interests, but also common values. The US financial and technical assistance has been instrumental for us to build better institutions, strengthen the rule of law, and create new economic opportunities. In its turn, Armenia has provided support to counter-terrorism and peacekeeping initiatives of the United States. The United States has always been a steadfast partner for Armenia in matters of global and regional security. As one of the co-chairs of the OSCE Minsk Group, it plays a crucial role in the peaceful and long-lasting resolution of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. The 44-day war unleashed against the people of Artsakh by Azerbaijan in the fall of 2020 had a severe impact on the population and the security landscape of the region and left such high priority issues like Artsakh's final status unresolved. In this regard, Armenia welcomes the intention of the United States to reinvigorate its efforts towards a just and comprehensive solution to this conflict. I would also like to take this opportunity to extend my congratulations to Armenian Americans who have always played an extremely important role in forging and maintaining the partnership between our countries. Many of them are the descendants of the ethnic Armenians who, after witnessing the horrors of the Armenian genocide perpetrated by Ottoman Turkey, have found refuge and second home in the United States. Throughout the years, the Armenian American community has thrived, contributing greatly to the development and prosperity of the US. The April 24th statement released this year by President Joe Biden, recognizing the Armenian genocide, was welcomed by millions of Armenians all around the world whose ancestors shared the same tragic fate. By doing so, the United States has once again demonstrated its unwavering commitment to uphold fundamental human rights and universal values. As the US is regaining its role at the Human Rights Council, a bit unequivocally supported by Armenia, I want to express our readiness to continue the cooperation towards the prevention of crimes against humanity. Finally, I would like to salute the decision of the current administration to spearhead the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic and climate change. The return of the United States to such important international mechanisms like the World Health Organization and the Paris Agreement will surely strengthen the global efforts in fighting these calamities. With the sincerest wishes of prosperity, once again, I would like to congratulate the people of America with the 4th of July. It is my hope that the 245th anniversary of independence will bring peace and harmony to all of you. God bless America and the Armenian-American friendship.